What up YouTube? Uh, this is Cowboy Like Me coming at you again with a late night edition of the beer review. My way. Tonight we're gonna enter, we're gonna review another Jeremiah Weed product. And this time it's gonna be Roadhouse Tea. I decided not to get the cola flavored one just yet. I still haven't got the balls to try it just because it doesn't sound good at all. But let's try the tea. Everybody down here in Texas likes tea, so let's give it a whirl. Don't know if it's good. This is another 5.8% alcohol by volume. 24 ounce can. Might be good. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna do this one a little different. I'm gonna give it a little taste test before I actually chug the damn beer. Hmm. That actually tastes like sweet tea with a hint of lemon. That's how I like my tea. It don't taste like alcohol at all. No sir, officer, I ain't been drinking nothing but tea. <laughs> yeah, try that one. I bet it don't get you too far. You know, I hear my Stevie Ray going in the background. Well, it's flooding down in Texas. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I know I need to stick to my day job. Don't try to sing because that ain't my thing. All right, let's give this stuff a whirl. See what happens. Damn it. Uh, uh, one little old mouthful. Uh, almost made it in one. I'll get better. Don't worry. It's really not bad. If you've ever tried one of those uh, Lipton Risk iced teas that you buy in the bottle at the store. That's pretty much what it tastes like. It does have a twang. I don't know if that's just the lemon or if that's the alcohol. I don't know. Either way, I do recommend Jeremiah Weed products. Everything I've tried from them so far is pretty tasty. I mean, it's not beer. It's a malt beverage. There is a difference. Uh, this is this is just you know something you want to drink when you don't feel like drinking beer, but yet you still want to catch a buzz or get the relaxing effects from the alcohol. You can drink something like this. You know, around here we call this a bitch beer. Just saying, it's something your girlfriend would drink. Ranks right up there with Zima and Smirnoff. You know, stuff like that. Wine coolers. But yeah, that's not bad. This isn't bad. It's something you drink on a summer day, mowing the lawn. Not bad at all. Alright, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Uh, sorry to you Aussie fans of mine. Uh, no real carbonation in there to get some burps going, so can't give you a good belch. Even though I know you like it, but sorry. I'll try it on the next one. Uh, my next review is going to be Ziegenbach, made by Michelob, and it's actually a Texas-style beer. It's uh, Texas actually has a pretty large German community around Mun Munster, Munster is what they call it, but and we have a little town right outside of where I live here called, uh, shit, I can't even think of the name of it right now, I've got too much on the brain. Either way, we've got a big German community here where I live as well, and uh, I don't know if you've ever been around Shiner, Texas, or have, have had Shinerbach. Well, Ziegenbach's a play off of Shinerbach. It's a, it's a thick Bach ale, and uh, that's going to be my next one. We'll do that. Hell, I might do it here in a minute, or I might just wait till tomorrow. I uh, bought a six-pack of it, and we'll give it a whirl. I'll let you know how it tastes. Everybody, peace.